Okay, this is just a quick extension to the video I just posted in regards to multi-pointer compares. I should have explained it better in the vid, but I didn't, and now I'm being bombarded with questions. Now, I know you advanced or intermediate uh, game hackers already familiar with assembly. You understand this. This isn't for you. These are for the people that are, are still new. They didn't understand the stack. They're bombarding me with questions about it. I want to go ahead and answer it in one vid and I can just point them to the vid. Okay, so basically this is just a basic explanation of how the stack operates and I'm going to use it like a metaphor. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to use a visual. But for right now, we're going to go over this code. Push RAX push RCX and then it runs our code as well and then we got to give the registries back to the computer and we have to pop it back off the stack in reverse order this is why okay imagine for a moment we're going to start with the push commands RAX and then RCX the computer is going to go to the very first one it sees which is push RAX imagine these for right now aren't registries these are buckets now we're in metaphor land now okay these are buckets RAX bucket and the RCX bucket they're each holding different things RAX let's say is holding bird seed or just regular seeds how's that just regular planting seeds RCX is holding dog food okay so it comes to this first instruction push RAX so what it does the computer is going to pick up the bucket RAX that's currently holding the planting seeds and it's going to put it into the storage bin which is the stack puts it on there and that's where it is then it comes to the next command RCX we want whatever's in RCX in the bucket also put in the bin so it's going to take the RCX bucket and put it in the bin guess what it's a stack it's going to go on top of what we just put in there the bird seed then it's going to run our code it's going to do its things and then we need to put things back in the proper buckets they came in all right so we come to pop RCX and pop RAX. What that tells the computer, we want what is on top of the stacks put back in the buckets. So we got to do it in the opposite order so everything goes back in correctly. So it sees pop RCX. It's going to take the RCX bucket over. And what was on top? That was the dog food. It's going to and then bring it back and set it back where it was. Then it's going to see the next command pop RAX. So it's going to grab the RAX bucket and whatever's on top of the stack it's going to put in that bucket. And that was the bird seed. And let's pretend we got a blind farmer. He knows where these buckets are and he knows what was in those buckets but he don't know if things have been changed or, or they've been messed with. And now he can come pick the buckets up. He can go feed the dogs and the dolls get fed and now he can take the RAX bucket he knows the planting seeds are in there he can go out to his fields and plant the seeds and things are going to grow like they should but what happened if we put these in reverse we put push RAX push RCX and then after our code we popped it back off the same way pop RAX pop RCX well the computer's not going to know any different it's going to see the first instruction pop RAX it's going to take the RAX bucket over back to the bin and whatever's on top of the stack it's going to put in the RAX bucket and guess what RAX bucket is now going to be holding the dog food it's going to see the pop RCX and guess what it's going to take that bucket over to the bin and whatever's next on top of the stack it's going to put it in that bucket now that's the planting seeds and put them back in there or spots where the, the registries or buckets go now our blind farmer comes back along and guess what he knows where the buckets are he knows what was in those buckets originally but he doesn't know or think to check since so he's going to take that rcx bucket thinking it was the dog food but now it's the planting seeds and he's going to go feed those to the dogs and he's going to come back and he's going to take the rax bucket and go to the planting fields that's holding the dog food now and he's going to plant the dog food and what's going to happen later on well later on nothing's going to grow the dogs are going to go hungry and things are all messed up so metaphorically speaking that's how the stack operates you have to understand that these registries are nothing more than 
containers holding something and the stack is a huge storage bin if you think of it in that sense it'll help you understand better and you can only put things on top of each other you can't scatter things out or anything like that it you put something in the next thing you put in goes directly on top of that and so forth and so on and that's basically why we have to push things in an order you can push them in any order you want but when you go take them back off or when you fill those buckets back up it has to be done precisely to put back what was originally in there so hopefully that answers the question if it didn't I'm sorry that's about as simplistic as I can make it you really need to go read up on it on how the stack operates there's plenty of great information out there uh, just google it up or go on YouTube and plenty of people are talking about the stack but this is the most simplistic as I can make it and hopefully this helps you